What's up guys? For the last few months, I've been living with my grandma. It's been awesome. It's been so good. I love my granny. But apart from breaking my back, which was eventful in the worst ways possible, and traveling to the weird Sundays, life has been pretty low key. I took this time away from traveling to spend it with my family and the people that matter the most. I did that. It was great. But now it's a new year. It's summer and my life is getting flipped upside down tomorrow. Everything changes tomorrow. Welcome to the vlogs. I'm Bodie Jacko, and instead of making sensible life choices, going to uni and setting myself up with a career, I'm just sending. I've got my surfboard, my backpack, and a strong belief that while you're young, you should have an unbelievably good time. Having been in Sydney for the last three months, I need to get out of the city. And conveniently enough, my friend lent me his car when he went overseas. So I packed my bags for the hundredth time in the last year. After traveling for a year, I don't own much anymore. It's really incredible. It's pretty much everything I own. Here's a little tour of the vehicle. It's an old Hilux. It has some mechanical issues, which is, which is not ideal. Fun fact, sometimes the clutch fails on this car. This is the back, my brand new surfboard. It's not brand new, it's second hand, but it's brand new to me. This is where I'm gonna be sleeping. Oh. The only problem I have is when it rains. Oh, oh. That's, that's not great, um, but it'll do the job. Hopefully it doesn't rain <laughs> too much. Breakfast time. Um, because of the industry that I work in, sometimes you don't get paid for months. So I'm not broke, I just don't have the money in my account. $120 for a couple of days. I can make that work. I just have to stretch it out a bit. Oh, that's what we want. Seven biggies for a kilogram of peanut butter? I can live off this for a fair while. I'm actually so tempted. I want to, but I can't. Look at that sale. Yes, two of those. A kilogram of peanut butter and two loaves of bread. I'm sorted. I promise it's a choice. I actually do really like it. Now I just need a knife. Do you have a plastic knife? Look it up. Yeah. Trying to make peanut butter and bread. No? Right. That's all good. Um, Trying to make peanut butter and bread, but I don't oh, know. Oh, I don't have any no? takeaways. No Sorry. worries. Thank you. Nobody wants to give me a knife, which is fair enough. And I don't want to buy a whole packet bad for the environment. And I'm going to buy one from an op shop eventually. So we're going to have to find another solution. Okay, let's do this. This is my kitchen bench. That's my bed. Usually the two don't mix together, but they do for me. Got all the goods. I can't believe I have one kilogram peanut butter. That is the best thing ever. No one wanted to give me a knife, but I do have a very sharp knife. Look at that. This banana's dead. Unsurprisingly, I just sliced my thumb open. Peanut butter, banana and bread seasoned with a little bit of blood. What a breakfast! Good morning guys. It's just past five. The sun is cracking the horizon. There are little waves rolling in. And I haven't really surfed since I broke my back. But today's the day. I've kitted this board out. It was $300 from Marketplace. It's got new fins on it, a leggy. She looks good. Side note, this is where I slept last night. How beautiful. There are a lot of voices drowning in the sea. There's too many voices talking back at me. There are a lot of choices waiting to be made. Too many choices making me afraid. This is where I messed up. I sliced my wrist to the bone, lost a $150 fin, and had to drive my manual car 45 minutes, one-handed, to the hospital where I got four stitches. <laughs> Getting some stitches done. I didn't do that. 